right, we have lost the dice roll, so we're going to be on the draw. In our hands, it's okay, we don't have red mana, but we do have two two drops and a Mutavault. And Mutavault uh, is the best sliver. I think I already said that, but um, so we're not going to mulligan it. Um, so we draw red, our hand gets really good, and Steam Vents looks like we're playing against uh, probably blue, white, red. Uh, striking sliver. So that's not what we wanted to draw. Uh, obviously, uh, any uncastable sliver is just not where we wanted to be. Okay, Augur. Oh, Pillar Flame. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Looks like this is going to be hard. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what our deck can do then. So Dalmers are really good against him if we get them to play. Yep, figure as much. So a Cavern here would be great. Another Augur. Let's see if he hits. Estin Scatter. Yeah, a Cavern would be amazing. I'm um, just Mute Vault. So... I guess we'll just play our Steel Form Sliver. It turns off his pillars for the most part. I really, really want to draw a Cavern. Um, or a Red Source so we can play a Domri. Uh, looks like he's kind of light on lands. Which is good. And we drew a Predatory Sliver. It's one of the best actual slivers. So he's missing land drop. He has six spells. One of them's Essence Scatter. Takes three, goes to 17 here. Let's we'll say go. If he attacks, we're probably not going to block because he more likely will have like a pillar uh, to kill one of our. Like, we'll block, then a pillar, and we'll and then lose our predatory sliver. That's not where we want to be at. Yep. Uh, we'll just take two, we'll go 17. So we didn't draw a land. Um, do you know the predatory sliver? Actually, okay, playing that. Um, we're playing the Supreme Verdict, but he needs to draw a white source to, in order to do that. And look, we're already attacking for seven, puts him at uh, ten. And if we draw a land, we can like animate both our immune vaults and they're each four power. So we're in great shape. Okay, alright, so we got the land. Um, let's see if we can draw, draw our land. And we did. So uh, I think that should be game. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. Our opponent was mana screwed. We were color screwed. So I guess it evens out. Uh, he takes 10, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We won our first game against <laughs> blue, white, red. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, for sideboarding, we want to put in the Boros Charms. We want to protect our guys from the Supreme Verdict. Um, soul cracks aren't bad here. Um, it's got a bone size sliver, just because there's four mana, two twos, and you, it's not where we want to be at. And, um, I usually take out mana web slivers, <laughs> uh, they're not that good. I'm keeping Megalith, he's just so sweet. I don't want to cut him, but these seem pretty weak here. Um, alright, I think that should be good. Uh, it lowers our creature crop to 26 for Domri, but he's still so, so powerful that, like, it makes us closer to like a 1 in 3 shot of hitting a creature, but it's still really good. So once again, no green mana, but we have at least one play, and if we draw any land, we have this play. Alright, so we mulligan the six. Um, some mana with sliver. Not a good draw. So we do play ten green sources, plus four caverns, so like fourteen sources I can play for green uh, slivers at least. So we are playing four cavern. So So we should be able to draw a cavern this match. So we'll just play our uh, Sentinel Sliver. We did draw another land, so at least we can then play our Blur Sliver and attack. And yes, think twice. Okay, pillar. And a tap land. <coughs> so we draw a green source, which we did. I uh, said so we're just gonna play Domri. And plus it, and that like the longer you have planeswalkers play, just the more value you get out of them. So that was a really good draw from us, drawing the Temple Garden. So even we even hit, so that's really good. Um, so next turn, um, I guess we'll just plus again, and um, we can either play Hay Sliver and attack, or we can play two other slivers. I th I'd rather do that. So we'll just play, uh, 
Play Sentinel. And we'll go to Fortune and we'll play Predatory. So if we have Supreme Verdict, it's like a two for one. But we still have a Domery in play. And we have another we have a backup Domery in case he can kill ours. Uh, Restoration Angel, okay. Uh, attacking our Domery. I'm fine with that. Oh, then Pillar to finish it off. Okay. Um, I guess we'll attack. We have Gore Clan. If he has an Angel, we can get through it. So what we can do here is play Mana Weft. Sliver first. We can play our Haste Sliver next. And then we can play Domri. <laughs> so that worked out pretty well. Uh, red. So hopefully he doesn't have a counter spell. I don't think he does. So if he's a Supreme Verdict, we're a little bit behind. We still have two creatures, three creatures, and potentially a Domery in play. We can flash back a thing twice. We'll go to four cards during his turn. Uh, he's at 15 already. We can play Magnetic Sliver. Megantic? It's Mega Gantic. So Domery's at one. Yep, Supreme Verdict. Into Augur. Okay. Another Supreme Verdict. Alright. So we got some ways to go, but we have this uh, Domery to help. Nope. Just, uh, just a land. But we'll play our uh, Rampager here. It's the biggest creature. Like, it's not a sliver. But just having 4-4 four, four bodies against them is good. And like we can uh, make him deal with this first, and then uh... let's see. We're not gonna fight in case he has an angel. That's just really bad for us. <coughs> um, we'll attack. We're gonna play a haste sliver in case he doesn't supreme verdict and draw land. We can play a megantic sliver. And nope. Let's say go. This looks like he has a rev here for three. It's pretty good. So we know he's a supreme verdict. And Domri helps like it's so good in this matchup. I just love Domri. Like I felt when I built this deck that like you just need lots of card advantage. And Domri is the way to get there. And you play a whole bunch of just uh just guys, basically. I hope we draw like a Boros Charm uh, to keep our guys alive so we can play around Supreme Verdict. Oh, so he did a hand of one. Alright, so let's uh, use our Domri. Hit a land. So next turn we can have Magantic. So I'm going to play a. Uh, Um, I guess I'll just play Steel Form. Cause I can't play two slivers. I can play Steel Form and Striking. Let's see if he wants to counter that one. Okay. Still haven't drawn a cavern yet. Drawn um, almost a fourth of our lands and haven't drawn a cavern. So I'll just play Striking, I guess. So down to three cards. He's probably going to attack Dominator with the Muta Vault. Yep, so the Domino will go to 2. If he has some kind of burn spell, he can kill it. He obviously doesn't have uh, World Leader's Healer, or else he would have used that. So he's down to 3 cards. Uh, let's look up Domri. Uh, Rampager, that was good. We're actually uh, just going to play a Megantic Sliver this turn. Could have used it first, or used it second. I mean, in our secondary phase, to play around Azoria's Charm. But if he wants to waste an Azoria's Charm on a striking sliver, like that's f not too bad. So we'll attack here for four. Let's 
see what he has. I don't think he has a revelation, because if he had a revelation, I think... Is he going to blink his Munivolt and then double block? No, no, just uh, just animate his tap Munivolt. Okay. Oh yeah, he can't blink it because it's an angel. <laughs> oh, that's a. Um, there's so many interactions with Munivolt. It's crazy. All right, so he's killing Domri. His think twice. I probably would have think twice before I attack there. Uh, think twice again. Um, it's a Druid Cavern. We'll name, our, we'll name Sliver. Player hates Sliver and attack, and we'll see what happens. And we have this ramp. He knows about our Rampager, so... Um... Let's see if he has charm. Okay. He has to have two things because. Um, I guess we'll just go for. We'll rampage the four guy just because that's the least amount of damage if he has always charms it. Oh! <laughs> Alright, there we go. So we won our first match against the blue, white, red. Just played some. Pumped all our slivers. Gave him plus three, plus three, and we killed him. Alright, so that went pretty well. And we'll see you for the start of round two.